Hey everybody, what's decent? So I have a friend who just bought a brand new Roomba and she was having issues connecting to it through the home Wi-Fi. And I, I guess I was disappointed that they didn't have like a little bit of nuance that she needed so that she could do it, you know, without having to contact me. So I guess I just wanted to make a quick video just to explain that so that you guys don't run into the same sort of issue with the Roomba and, you know, other devices like this. So the basic procedure for these type of devices is you usually get your cell phone, you connect it to your home Wi-Fi, you do some kind of button sequence on the device itself and then it gets into its pairing mode. When it's in its pairing mode you have to go to your phone and find you know the Wi-Fi signal that it's uh, putting out and then through your phone you know that's how you connect your device to your wireless network so that you can you know use the app and communicate with the device itself. However when this does not work a lot of the times what you will see is you're doing all of the steps correctly you're hearing it you know say what it needs to say and you're seeing it going down the steps that it needs to go down but then it never finishes at that last uh, step. The reason why this fails is because on your Wi-Fi router especially the newer ones you might notice that let's say if your Wi-Fi router is called quite decent there's going to be a quite decent 5G and then a, just a normal quite decent. That 5G is what the issue is. If your phone is connected to the 5 gigahertz network, a lot of these devices don't support the 5 gigahertz network. They only support the 2.4 gigahertz uh, network, which is what the regular, uh, quite decent in my case would be. So what you would have to do is connect your phone to the regular 2.4 gigahertz, you know, the one that does not say 5G next to it, and then go through the process um, with your device to connect your device to your Wi-Fi, and it should work after that. If this was something that you were struggling with, go ahead and give that a try and then let me know if it works in the comment section down below. But generally speaking, for your smart lights and for your Sono speaker and for your Roomba and for your whatever you have, that's likely going to be the case that if you're doing the steps and you can see it going through each step and then it just fails at the end, try the 2.4 gigahertz and that should do it. Anyways, that's my time for today. Um, Share, rate, favorite, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any other questions about anything, you know, non-Roomba related, feel free to leave them down in the comment section down below, and I'll come back and uh, maybe make another video. But uh, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Take it easy.